palm-sized masterpiece from the Tantara mine in the Katanga. Diaptase. First of all, we have a crust of a dolomite perched on that is a lawn of diaptase, which has been dusted with some calcite crystals now. Typically on this particular section of Tantara, I'd expand, uh, expect to find some shatukite associated too. Little blue achicular sprays of shatukite. I don't see any as I'm looking here, but most likely we'll find traces of the shatukite associated here. From a display point of view, the most appealing angle to me would be this. Uh, these, the size of the diaptase crystals is pretty large and also the color is this intense emerald green, a very rich uh, a thorough green, so not uh, you'll have different localities. We have our Kaoka felt in Namibia where the, the diaptase is almost as if it's been watered down slightly, so it's not this deep rich Congolese green as we find from uh, various deposits. Also, the size of the crystals are substantial. All the way from the Tantara mine in the uh, Katanga, a uh, palm sized specimen. Let me just take you through the edges as well. The, the lawn of the diaptase goes right through, sitting on a very thin crust of uh, a dolomite. And of course, this is lovely. Look at the size of those diaptase crystals. And of course, for the species, this is a very, very prominent size. Lovely color. Lovely, lovely display piece. And of course, let me just put it uh, sideways. I'm going to move it a distance away from the camera. Let me just zoom in on that. Let's have a look there. Look at that bling bling effect. Wow, so wow, so wow, so wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Tantara in the Katanga. Diaptase and calcite.